a very good morning and uh, welcome back so i am recording this video in order to cover the topic which is solution of state equations we know as of now what is the structure of state equation how to get state equation but we still don't know how to solve state equation therefore in this topic we will learn the solution of state equation as you all know that state equations are nothing but first order differential equations given by x dot equals ax plus bu and y which is output is equals to cx plus du okay our main focus remains as i already told you in some of the previous classes to solve the differential equation and find out the state of your circuit so we have to solve primarily x dot is equals to ax plus du then we can come to y equals to cx plus du but that's another thing actually we will solve this by using the method of laplace transforms how actually we will apply laplace transform on both side in this equation okay now remember one thing that this x over here these a and b are not just scalars these are vectors in fact a is a matrix of dimension n by n b is a rectangular matrix of dimension n by m so you know that that now we just don't have a single variable we can have vectors and matrices as well and you have to take the laplace transform over a system of vectors or matrices if in a way one would have asked you what is the laplace transform of x dot where you know that x dot is dx by dt if x dot is dx by dt or it is let's say some x prime of t then the laplace transform of derivative of a function with respect to t is given by s laplace transform of x minus the initial conditions or x0 plus or minus whatever you can take okay so the laplace transform of the lhs or oh, sorry the yes exactly the lhs is sx s minus x0 plus and then you would take the laplace transform on rhs a is a constant so it would remain a but x would become x of s plus b would remain constant but u was a function of time so b would become uh, u would become u of s so the laplace transform of this equation is this okay now from this equation you can take the terms containing x on one side like this so i can take s x of s minus a x of s equals x 0 plus because this was with a negative sign i have taken on did it on the rhs plus b u of s now if i have to take an x of s common out of these two i can take it like s multiply it with 1 which in a matrix form is an identity matrix minus a this matrix multiplied with x of s is equals to x 0 plus plus b which is a constant u of s okay and from here our main target is to solve for x so from here if you need to solve for x you have to take x of s and take si minus a inverse multiply it on both side okay so when you will multiply si minus a inverse on both side you will get on multiplying x sorry si minus a which is a matrix which is a square matrix is ka inverse when you will multiply this on both side you will get x of s is equals to si minus a inverse x 0 plus 
okay plus si minus a inverse into b into u of s okay remember that this is a matrix this is a matrix b is also a matrix x is a vector and u is a vector okay x and u are vector and if you solve the system of this matrix you will get x in terms of s then you can take again the laplace transform or laplace inverse and you you will get the solution ready as of now our main focus is on what this si minus a is okay and how can we take the laplace inverse of si minus a okay so in a way what i mean to say is if we take laplace inverse both side <clears throat> if we take laplace inverse both side then it means that i would be taking laplace inverse of x of s and i would be taking laplace inverse of si minus a ka inverse multiply it with some constant vector and plus laplace inverse of sub si minus a inverse multiply it with b multiply it with us okay this is what i am saying and this on taking the laplace inverse would give us x of t which is what we are interested in finding out okay but the thing is how to take laplace inverse of such a system and even more complex how to take laplace inverse of such a system in which we have one function of s and another function of s laplace inverse of two function multiplied with each other we will take one by one first of all let us focus our attention on this si minus a inverse okay let us focus our attention on si minus a inverse so if it would not have been a matrix system if it would have been a scalar system then you know that uh, uh, if i have some s into 1 minus alpha inverse which i can write as s minus alpha inverse which i can also write as 1 upon s minus alpha okay and then if would have i would have asked you what is going to be the laplace inverse of such a thing which is laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus alpha you know that it is something shifted on s axis with minus alpha value therefore laplace inverse of 1 is 1 by s okay so 1 dot but now it is shifted on s axis so i have to multiply it with a factor e to the power minus of minus alpha t which can be just written as e to the power alpha t okay e to the power minus of minus alpha t which is e to the power alpha t so laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus alpha is e to the power alpha t on similar argument we say that the laplace inverse of this matrix system which is si minus a inverse it is a square matrix and the laplace inverse is called as e to the power a t remember that this is just a notation how can you write a thing like e to the power a matrix into t you cannot write that this is just a notation i will tell you in a moment what this means taking e to the power at what that means so it is a matrix a is a matrix we cannot write anything like this okay don't worry about it as of now i can say that you know our si minus a will be a square type of a matrix so let us say this was a matrix of this type having f1 f2 f3 f4 okay so after solving is i minus a and taking inverse of it we got a matrix f1 f2 f3 f4 all our functions in s all our functions in s so this f1 f2 f3 f4 all our function in s and now you were taking laplace inverse of it 
Okay, so what you are doing is you are actually taking Laplace inverse of f1, Laplace inverse of f2, Laplace inverse of f3, Laplace inverse of f4. And this is what it means, taking Laplace inverse. Fine. Another way of representing <coughs> such a thing is writing it equals to phi of t. And people call it as a favorite name, which is called as the state transition matrix. In control systems, there is a whole course on state transition matrix and phase space. As of now, we will just graze it, just have an introduction of what phase transition matrix is. We write down a few properties of phase transition matrix. Uh, in some other part of uh, the series of topic. But in this particular lecture, we are concerned with finding out solution of the state equation using Laplace transformant. Okay. And we got to know that if we have SI minus A inverse, then taking a Laplace inverse of it means you have a matrix taking Laplace inverse of each element. And we represent it by e to the power A T. Okay. This is how we write it. So half of the problem will be solved. If we will be taking the Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse into X0 plus, you know that this X0 plus is a constant. So this will not have any effect on taking Laplace inverse. But this thing has been told to you, how to take Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse. Now, the second part. How to take Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse into B into US? For that, we will use the concept of what is called as convolution. Convolution. Suppose it is given that you have a function fs which is given by a multiplication of two function f1s and f2s and you have to take Laplace inverse of these two. You have to take Laplace inverse of these two. So actually we can say that the Laplace inverse of let's say f of t which is the Laplace inverse of fs will be equals to the convolution between f1 of t which is the Laplace inverse of f1s this is a special sign representing what is called as convolution and Laplace inverse of F2S, which is F2T. And what this convolution means, it means that you will project one on the other. So convolution means you will have to take, integrate it from 0 to T, take first function F1, t minus tau. So this is what I am saying about projection. Integrate it, multiply it with f2 tau, d tau. So if you want to have the Laplace inverse of two functions which are multiplied with each other, then you actually have to take the Laplace transform or inverse of the individual functions you can take individual functions and then you have to take the Laplace, uh, sorry, the convolution of the two and convolution key definition is this. So over a window of t minus tau over f1, you will be projecting f2 of tau. Okay. And uh, you will integrate it from 0 to t. So final function jo aapka, isko solve karne ke baad, that will be some function in t only. Done. So when I am saying that you have to take uh, Laplace inverse of SI minus A ka inverse, which you know what it is, into matrix B into U of S. So actually this is our F1, this is our F2. So US is our F2, S1, I, SI minus A inverse is our F1. B is a constant. It is just a matrix. It's a constant. We are not worried about B. 
but definitely we need to take care of F1 and F2. So you already know what is the Laplace inverse of SI minus A. Abhi bataya, it is going to be E to the power capital AT. Notation hai. Liya to alag tarikhe se zaega. No worries, it would be a matrix. But we know that the Laplace inverse of this particular thing is E to the power AT. And let me say that the Laplace inverse of US is some UT. But then we have to take a convolution. Is pure ka Laplace inverse nikalna hai. To uske liye what you have to take. To iska Laplace inverse hoga iske barabar. 0 to T. E to the power A. Dekho F1 mein T minus tau karna hai. To T minus tau. Min to B. B constant tha. Into UT. Sorry U tau. Because you have to have tau me lick my d tau. If we solve it, then we will get the inverse. Hai. Fine. So it's now quite easy that we just have to take Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse and take Laplace inverse of this complex combination of matrix. Okay. So I'll be stopping the video here. This is going to be the recipe. We will formulate SI minus A or this equation. And finally come to this particular equation and try to solve the Laplace inverse. But that we will do in the next part of the video. Taking an example from one of uh, the videos, I think it was video number two on uh, state equations.